Hey guys, welcome to Safi Maxed. In this video, you will learn that how the power of one of your organs is many times more than the intrinsic power of the sun. Isn't that very surprising? Okay, let's see how. We know that sun is a gigantic source of energy which is the sole source of life on our planet Earth. It is because of this energy we are enjoying different weathers, winds, rains, snowfalls and every single thing you can name that occurs naturally around us on our planet. But probably you don't know that the intrinsic power of the sun is far less than the power of what lies in the upper part of your body inside your skull. You probably got what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about what is known as the brain. Yes, the power of human brain is greater than the intrinsic power of the sun. Can you really imagine that you carry something in the upper apartment of your body that beats the sun? We can prove this claim mathematically. To this end, let us first write the data we know about the sun. We know that the sun surface temperature is around 6 into 10 raised power 3 Kelvin. A radius of the sun is about 7 times 10 raised to power 8 meter. Mass of the sun is 2 times 10 raised to the power 30 kilogram. With this data, considering sun as a sphere, its area a of the sun equal 4 times pi times radius raised to the power 2 r r squared and substituting value from this data you can easily calculate that the area equals 6 times 10 to the power 18 meters squared. The power of the sun can be calculated by using Stephen Boltzmann law given by power equals sigma times t raised to the power 4 times area where sigma is Stephen Boltzmann constant whose value is 5.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 8 joule per second per meter square per k raised to the power per kelvin raised to the power 4. Substituting the values from the above data into equation 1, we can straight away write that the power is equal to 4 times 10 raised to the power 23 kilowatt. This is the total output power of the sun, a huge quantity. However, we on the earth receive a very little fraction of this power. That is, the power equivalent to the energy emitted into the solid angle subtended by the earth on the sun's surface. Of course, here I am ignoring the amount of energy losses through different processes in the space. Now let us divide this total power of the sun on mass of the sun to obtain power per unit mass, which I call it the intrinsic power of the sun. And if we do that, the intrinsic power P sub I in T equals P divided by capital M, which results in 0.2 milliwatt, which results in 0.2 milliwatt per kilogram. On the other hand, an average human being consume energy around 2400 kilocalories every day which converting this into power becomes p equals 2400 kilocalories divided by per day and if we substitute the values we can write this power as 100 watt 25 percent of this total energy is consumed by the brain 
This means the brain of an average human has a power of around 25 watts, which is 10,000 times more powerful than the intrinsic power of the sun. Hey guys, you should be proud of carrying the brain brighter than the sun. But alongside, we should be ashamed of doing nothing great like the sun is doing every single day.